hey guys first take up here welcome to the unboxing and review of the all new techno camon 18 premium Hey guys, what do you get when you pay up to 128,000 Naira or $440 for a premium mid-range device? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the all-new Techno Camon 18 Premier, a successor to the Camon 17 Pro and trust me, this offers massive improvement from its predecessor. The display is now AMOLED with a faster 120Hz refresh rate, improved camera system, improved design and a brand new user experience. This is Big Brother. Fred reports to the diary room. It may seem as though the improvement are just subtle, but Big Brother truly appreciate it. Thank you, Big Brother. And oh, you may take the Camon 18 Premier and take pictures with Angel. Thank you, Big Brother. Speaking of taking pictures, the main highlight of the Techno Camon 18 Premier is the gimbal camera stabilizer that mimics an actual gimbal, which I feel is an incremental upgrade coming from its predecessor. As you can see, there is a formula Techno is trying to keep consistent here. A good device with modern features that many people will appreciate without going overboard with the price. Things have actually changed a whole lot and the current exchange rate in our country is not really helping matters. So at 180,000 Naira or $440, I think the Techno Camon 18 Premier is a bargain. The Camon 18 Premier is a premium device that has plastic frame with glass body back and front. It looks really beautiful with the boxy design. I like the matte texture that the rear of the device has. It really helps in preventing smudges or fingerprints. I really like how it feels in the hand. It doesn't really feel as big as the Phantom X or the Camon 17 Pro. The Camon 18 Premier comes in in two colors, which is Polar Night and Vast Sky. The former is the color that I have here. The truth is that I don't really know which one I would have picked between the two colors, the Polar Night and the Vast Sky, if I'm given the opportunity to pick one. But I think I'm falling in love with this particular color that I have here. On the right side of the device, we've got the power button and the volume rocker keys. The power button also serves as a fingerprint scanner. I don't like how deeply recessed the button is. It makes it very difficult to differentiate between the power button and the volume rocker keys. However, I like how fast it is to unlock the device. It is very fast and always responsive as long as you get the placement right. On the left side of the device, we've got a SIM tray that can take dual nano SIM and a micro SD card. At the bottom, we've got a headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port and a speaker grill. On top, we have another microphone. At the rear of the device, we've got a triple camera setup that looks really interesting with its periscope lens. The main camera is the 64 megapixels. Then we have a 12 megapixels ultra wide gimbal camera. I think that's a fancy way of saying optical image stabilization. Yeah, the periscope lens uses an 8 megapixel sensor. On the front side, the selfie camera is a 32 megapixels capable of delivering decent selfies. The 6.7 inch Super AMOLED display outputs a resolution of 1080 by 2400 with 393 pixels per inch density. The brightness level can go as high as 550 nits. And coming from its predecessor, this is a very huge improvement. And I must say that the display is very impressive. It is sharp bright and with lots of contrast 
it is very enjoyable to watch YouTube videos and playing games too. Speaking of watching YouTube videos, the down firing speaker on here is decent but it is not inspiring. Sounds very tinny, it is not that loud. And I really wish Techno had given this device a dual um, stereo setup here just like the previous device but that is all done here. We have just one speaker at the bottom here and to my hearing it sounds very tinny. When playing games, you can accidentally block the sound from the bottom speaker and there's no other speaker on top to complement that. Now let's talk performance. The Techno Command 18 Premier is fast. Listen to this, it is fast. The Techno Command 18 Premier comes with a MediaTek Halo G96 octa-core CPU paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. High OS 8.0 skin on top of Android 11 and what is keeping the light on is a 4750 mAh battery. Performance is really impressive. If you care about speed and raw performance, then this is the right device for you. It is fast, app animations, app switching, navigating through the user interface is buttery smooth. I haven't encountered any performance issues so far. Gaming is very impressive and you can play high graphics demanding games at medium to high graphics settings and you will still not notice any performance lack or stutter. However, what I notice about the Helio G96 processor on this device has to be optimization. I don't really think it is that optimized for gaming as it is on the Helio G95 CPU because sometimes gaming is not as smooth as it is on the previous device which is the Camon 17 Pro or even the Techno Phantom X. So I feel like the G96 on here could use a little bit of optimization via a software update. Scrolling through the user interface is smooth thanks to the 120Hz refresh rate. Performance doesn't lack in any aspect so far. Again, if you care so much about pure performance, then this is the device you should consider. As seen from the benchmark scores here, it clearly shows how good the performance is. I'm going to do a speed test comparison with other devices in its class, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out whenever I post that particular video. The software on here is Android 11 with a custom skin from Techno. The new skin on here comes with a refresh user interface like the notification center that has been splitted from the quick panel just as we saw on Xiaomi phones. A swipe from the top right corner reveals the quick settings panel and a swipe from the left corner reveals the notification center. The software could use some improvement as well but I really like the direction Techno is heading. Actually, Techno Mobile has promised that this device is going to get Android 12 and I cannot wait to see what Android 12 will look like on this device. The same Ella voice assistant that came with the Phantom X is also here even though I don't really see the need for it because Google Assistant is here so why do we need a secondary voice assistant? But who knows? Moving on to the battery, the 4750 mAh battery is more than enough. It is a comfortable full day battery life and you can even get more if you turn off 120Hz refresh rate and switch down to maybe 60. But I don't really see the need of doing that because the battery life is impressive with or without high refresh rate. In the box, the Camon 18 Premier comes with a 33W fast charger and it is very fast in juicing up the device. The Camon 18 Premier took just 1 hour and 5 minutes to charge from 0 to 100% which is super impressive. Okay guys, so now let's move on to the most interesting part or should I say the most highlight or the main highlight of this device which is the camera. You know, Techno has really really said a whole lot about how good this camera is, especially the gimbal uh, stabilization camera on here and the periscope lens. So let's talk about the camera. The main camera is the major win for this device. It is well detailed and colors looks nice especially when the lighting condition is very good. I like how sharp the images appear and I'm very impressed with it. Portrait images are also good but to have a consistent image quality make sure the lighting condition is good. The periscope lens is also good but I would advise you not to go above 5x or at least 10x for a much better result. Here's the image from the 5X, 30X and 60X. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Share your thoughts down below, okay? Hey guys, so this is the front facing camera of the Techno Camon 18 Premier. I'm currently shooting in 2K 30 frames per second, which is actually the highest resolution 
this device can go and as you guys can see the footage looks okay dynamic range is not bad as well but you guys should let me know what you think about it in the comment section below also let me know what you think about the audio quality as well selfie on the other hand is very impressive it is very detailed and sharp the selfie portrait is also very good and i like how it handles skin tone coming from the k 17 pro this is a step ahead of that device and i must say i am really impressed the night mode is still impressive it, there's no much difference between the one on here and what was on the previous device but it's really really decent all right guys so i'm currently shooting in the ultra steady mode and i'm walking currently and it is very stable but let's go ahead and run and see how it performs okay it looks okay but you guys should let me know what you think about it in the comment section below all right okay so this is a 2k video without video stabilization and the quality looks okay it cannot shoot above 2k it cannot do 4k i don't know why you guys should let me know what you think about it in the comment section below all right so, in conclusion, the Technocamon 18 Premier is a major upgrade from its predecessor and I'm very impressed with all the new features and improvement it comes bundled with. However, some part of the device could use some improvement, for example, the speaker and the software. I actually love the camera improvement and the AMOLED display on here, which is a step in the right direction and I cannot wait to see what Android 12 will bring to the Technocamon 18 Premier. So that is it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, if you should give me a like, I would really appreciate. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tell me guys what you think about this device in the comment section below. And I will talk to you guys in the very next one. Bye-bye.